If I asked you whether the average person could jump further while holding this extra 10 pounds or without it, what would you say? Well, today I'm going to be testing out an ancient Greek jumping technique that has confused scientists for centuries. Does holding weights while you jump make you jump further than you can without them? Around 3,000 years ago, a Greek athlete is said to have set a record long jump of 55 feet. That's 16.8 meters. The ancient record written in Greek says, Phalos jumped five feet more than 50 feet and threw the discus five feet less than 100 feet. So what's going on here? Were the ancient Greeks superhuman? Well, a key to cracking this question comes when we look at ancient depictions of long jumpers. They always have something in their hands. These are called halteries. They were basically ancient dumbbells or kettlebells. The Greeks used them to work out and train. But why would they have them in their hands during actual jumps? Surely holding more weight would shorten your jumping distance, right? But in Aristotle's famous work, Progression of Animals, written in 350 BC, he says something pretty interesting. Hence athletes jump further if they have the weights in their hands than if they have not, for in the extension of the arms, there is a kind of leaning upon the hands and wrists. <sighs> These are two five pound weights. Surely if I'm carrying an extra 10 pounds, about 4.5 kilos, I can't jump further than I could without them, right? And even if I could, could it really make someone jump 55 feet? That's absurd. But I trust Aristotle enough to try this. So here we go. Okay, first let's just do a jump without weights. Okay, 92 inches, just over seven and a half feet. Okay, now let's try it with the weights. Whoa, way further. <laughs> No way. With the weights, that's 98 inches. So is this just a fluke or was it in my head and I tried a little harder with the weights? Well, to test this, I went to the gym to get some unsuspecting victims playing basketball to test this ancient Greek physics problem. And after some convincing, they were willing to try it out. And the results were clear. The weights made everyone jump further that I tried it on. It took a few jumps to get the timing right with the hands, but everyone did better with the weights. In one case, this girl got almost a foot further holding two and a half pound weights in each hand. Okay, this is blowing my mind. Everything about this tells me it's wrong. Holding more weight shouldn't make you jump further, should it? In 2005, researchers measured the distances of standing long jumpers with and without weights. They found that on average, holding weights increased jumping distance by about 12 centimeters or 4.7 inches. In one case, one jumper in the study improved by 44 centimeters, that's 17 inches. So how is this working? Why does holding more weight make you get further when jumping? Well, in doing this myself, one thing I noticed is that it's kind of like you throw the weights out in front of you and then you use the inertia of those weights to kind of pull you forward as you throw the weights backwards. So there's definitely a benefit in changing your landing and the center of mass so you can throw your feet out further in front of you. But in one of my test subjects cases, he didn't even use the weights to swing behind him and he still jumped further with the weights. So there's more to the weights than just shifting your center of mass. Researchers studied the ground reaction force when you jump with weights in your hands. They found that as you increase the weight in your hands, the ground reaction force ramped up more slowly over a longer time than the unloaded jumps. Meaning that there ends up being more area under the curve for the orange line here compared to the others, which means more overall impulse. And the reason this matters is because muscles aren't perfectly linear actuators. At slower contraction speeds, they can sustain high force for longer. So more horizontal momentum is generated if you can push for longer or slower. This means you can get a longer jump even though you're carrying more weight. Now obviously there's a limit to how much weight makes you increase your jump. 
These same researchers tested with even heavier weights and found that the ideal load is about five to six kilograms. If you go higher than that, the added weight reduces your distance. So there, we've solved it. Holding weights makes you jump inches, even a foot further than without them. Okay, but wait, that's not 50 feet further. How did that ancient Greece guy, Phalos, jump 55 feet? Well, to solve this, we have to look at our hand. One, two, three, four, five. Because we have five fingers, the number five was the basis of mathematics. Greeks considered it a special number. In their Olympic events, they held a pentathlon that had five events with five trials each. Their wrestling competitions went five rounds. So what if their standing long jump wasn't just one jump, but five jumps? When standing long jump was an Olympic event, the gold medalist jumped around 3.2 meters on average. Multiply that by five and you get 16 meters or 52 feet, just shy of Phalos's record. So the current consensus among scholars is that they didn't mean one jump in that sentence, but they actually meant five jumps. Now these were gold medal winning jumps, so it would be hard to hit that distance five times in a row, if not impossible, unless you had an extra boost. With extra weight in their hands or halteries, it's very plausible that a trained athlete could exceed 55 feet in five jumps. And that's exactly what Phalos probably did to earn a place in history, still being talked about 3,000 years later as a great long jumper. I wonder if any of our current athletes will be talked about 3,000 years from now. What do you think? So thanks for going through this mystery with me and a special thanks to all my subscribers who helped me get to 5 million subscribers finally. 5 million. Yay! It's so amazing to see and I truly appreciate you watching and learning with me. And I'll see you next time.